Bonjour, no, and welcome back to Kai Fish Johnny. Okay, so the roof is off the pond, I'll explain that in a minute, but first things first, we have got a problem. Well, we've got a couple of problems, but we've got one that I've had for a very, very long time. When I got back from Ibiza five months ago, or just before it, the pond water level was dropping, intermittently dropping up and down, not consistently, it very irregularly, but a little bit noticeable. Then I went on holiday, come back, and the bloody pond was empty, so I refilled it, and then throughout the winter, it has been fine absolutely spot on fine anyway i go on holiday again would you believe it i go to la palma come back and the pond is not as empty as it was last time but significantly lower as seen in this video so i'm like what's going on here it is dropping very low basically creating a bit of a problem and i was really confused i'm really i was really like perplexed and i kept it to myself for a little bit of time so i thought am i going mad have i got someone letting water out the back of my garden what is going on with my pond? I had no idea. So as luck has it, I live in Manchester and it always rains here. So I haven't been able to investigate exactly where the pond, uh, pond water was coming out. But it's been coming out of a hell of a lot faster since I got back from holiday. So I've been observing it and walking around, but it's been raining all the time. Anyway, we had three dry days, three or four dry days. Everything had dried out. So it dried out around the back on the level surface that we've got ready for the garden office at the back there. Everything had dried out. So I was rummaging round everywhere, down the side, down, checking the skimmer, checking the... In fact, the first thing that came to my mind was, remember when I put my window in and it leaked? And just on the side here, I crop a little video in, I started to see things. I started to think, right, it looks like there's green mould or green algae going down the side there. So that's obviously leaking from a pond. Anyway, that's not the case. That's just the growth that from what originally spilled out a while ago and it's just never come off. Uh, I've never bothered cleaning it off and it's just stayed there and stayed a little bit like green. But I started to see things that weren't there. Anyway, on these three dry days that miraculously came round in Manchester, in the middle of, towards the end of March, I managed to see an area of the pond which is at the back. I'll crop it in now. As you can see going round the back here, uh, up against that wall it was soaking wet. So now I've got the area isolated and I'm thinking the fact it dropped down to about, that level, about my high return level last time i'm thinking that when i move my filter back across to the middle there i've disturbed some of either the fiberglass and inside the pipe or the connection um to the actual exterior to the nexus the pipe work to the nexus and it's leaking back but it has to be sort of either the fiberglass in that area where i might have disrupted the pipe by either whacking it catching it or doing something with it i don't know i can't remember anything significantly happening so it looks like I've caught that pipe that I, in that area is what I'm hypothesizing at this point because I've not dropped the water level down yet. That will be this weekend. I'm gonna drop it right down, but I thought I'd drop you a message or drop you a little video to see if anyone's got, because I know there's quite a few fish heads that watch this with super intelligence or might just have a simple answer to a complex problem, it seems for me. It seems quite complex for me because the water is getting into the brickwork, so the leak must be in between the brickwork and obviously returning to the pond, which means I can't just wrap something round it, tape it round, glue it up, or any short-term easy solutions. It's going to have to be quite a... Well, I, I don't know how to resolve it as of yet. I obviously don't know what the, exactly the problem is, but I won't know until I've dropped it right down and had a good look. Got my fingers in there, um, sort of messed around to see what I can feel, where it might be leaking around the inside walls of it, and see if we can identify exactly what the problem is. But it's dropping down now, and it's not dropping down as fast. I did slightly, not play with, but move the pipe a little bit, or the, or the pump underneath, and it seems to have slowed it down, so I'm guessing, I mean, I could be miles out here, and I know that there's a lot of people watching the video that will know more. I'm guessing that it's a crack in the pipe, and what it's done is maybe I've, I've cracked the pipe, and then when it's moved the filter, it's opened it up, and then when I pushed the filter back a little bit, it slowed it down, but it's still leaking. Uh, I, I don't know if this is making any sense at all. So all the brickwork around the high return there at the back is soaking wet, and the ground was soaking wet. Uh, that's why I just moved the filter, moved the pump a little bit, like to see whether it would, like maybe positionally slow it down, and it it genuinely has. It slowed the leak down. It's still going down, but it isn't going down at the rapid rate it was, which to me sort of suggests that maybe it's a crack in the pipe, or a crack in the fiberglassing. When I push the pipe a little bit tighter, it sort of sealed up the area, but it's still leaking. 
into the brickwork. As you can see, the brickwork was soaking, soaking wet. Um, so my question to you guys is, A, what do you think it might be? Let's have a guess game about what it potentially could be. I think it's what I've just said. And B is, if there is a leak in that pipe or the pipe is split in between the brickwork where there is no opportunity to sort of quickly fix it, how would you fix this? Because you don't have an opportunity to cut that piece of pipe work out and reseal it and go over the top. Am I gonna have to go into the pipe and sort of maybe get some of that WD, whatever it's called, 4-5, and swipe that round a load of times to try and seal off the area? Is there any special paste that I can use to seal off the high return? Fingers crossed, well, would, this, would it be easier actually if it's a crack in the actual fiberglassing? I very, 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 very much doubt it. It'd be very strange. The guys that did it knew what they were doing. They were, they were absolutely brilliant guys. <laughs> and I'd done a load of ponds, so I doubt it'd be that, and it'd be a strange time to give. It's more likely that I've walked past that pipe when it's been cut down, banged it, and somehow damaged the pipe, or been a bit rough with it. I have no idea, and we won't know until we get in there, but how could you fix a leaky pipe within brickwork, is the question, in a nutshell. Or how would you get around to it? Are we going internal, and wiping around the hole? Uh, or, Am I gonna have to chip some brick out and sort of wrap something around it and cut it back? Uh, I don't really know. And I don't think that you'll be able to give me a definitive answer until we have dropped this pond, which I'm hoping to do this weekend, down below the high return, and then had a look at exactly what we're facing. And also, I took the covers off the pond to scrape the fish. Yep, we're gonna be scraping. The old microscope is out and ready. Uh, because I've seen quite a lot of McCoy were, oh well, i seen my crouchy guy going nuts, flicking off the bottom, and I needed to scrape them, so I took the, the roof off, and then I've just done away with it when I found this problem. I am absolutely, ridiculously bad at scraping, and it also gives me a migraine, uh, because I'm sensitive to light like that. I'm thinking about getting an attachment from my Apex practitioner uh, to try and make it more digital, you know, like the digital eyepieces you can put in, but it seems to be a minefield trying to find them. I've had a look on Amazon, I've had a look at other ones, and they go on about the size, the depth, and all that. I just wonder if any of you guys have got any attachments for your microscope to connect it to a Mac, so then you can see a little bit easier rather than just having to do that Popeye sort of, sort of thing and stare down, because I'm, honestly, I am probably the world's worst person with a microscope. Scraping is my nemesis in this hobby. Uh, so if anyone knows anything about uh, digital USB microscopes or whatever they call it, microscope attachments, please drop it in the comments. I'd love you forever if you did. And I know that someone's mentioned it previously, but I haven't been able to find that comment. So I hope you've enjoyed this little update and we are back by the pond with a big problem, which we're hoping for a tiny little solution. Take care guys. Koi Fish Johnny, friendly, fishy, fun, out.